Hello everyone, today we are going to revisit the SinBot 30. We are going to take a look at a viewer suggestion as to the PID tune. If you remember my original video, and I will go ahead and put that right up here if you want to watch the full review video of this. If, when you went up, when you did a dive, so you throttled up and then you inverted down, when it would get to the top, it would just kind of waggle a little bit there. Well, Brandon Baked Bean come along and he said, try thrust linearization. So I did. And what I ended up doing was running it up clear up to 110%. And I think that wobble's all gone. Okay, here we go. So this is the uh, SinBot 30 with uh, uh, Express LRS receiver attached to it. Thrust linearization, I have worked up to, as I said, 110, and the wind is a howling, 26 to 29 miles an hour, because uh, I looked at two different weather apps, and they gave me different miles per hour on the wind, so the wind is howling, and I figured that would be actually pretty good, because wind usually has a negative effect on this standard or this form factor of quad and so i basically all i'm going to do is do that dive over and over and over again when i do the dive from the garage side of the house or now where we have that outdoor kind of living space over to the other side of the house even in my original review video i didn't notice it if it was there it was really really minor i go ahead and do that a time or two in this particular video as well but i mainly focus on making sure it flies okay overall and then just doing that dive time and time again and trying to hit the angle just right because the wind is just blowing me out. Uh, but I am just not seeing it. It took me a while to get there because I kept ra raising it by about 10%. If you look at the little question mark in Betaflight configuration app and you look at the thrust linearization, it will say it can go up to 140%, I think is what it says. I'm not looking at it right at the moment. Uh, but it said 30 to 40% is typical. And it does say that this is specifically put in for uh, sin whoop type of things, which you could consider this a sin whoop. Um, so I initially I started with it at like 30, 35 percent, and then went to 40, 45 percent, and I kept inching it up, kept inching it up, and finally I got to 110 percent, and that's where it's at today. You're watching it back on the big screen, I have been looking at this video a fair bit as I put together the flight video section in my editor previously. I'm definitely not seeing the wobble that we saw before, which I'll show you right after this. And if there is still a wobble, it's really, really minor, and we still have some overhead on that thrust linearization that we can still pump it up more. So if you have a SinBot 30 and you find that when you do those punches and then you nose down with zero throttle, if it just kind of waggles or wobbles there in the air, pump that value up. I would say it would should be safe to go to at least 80 or 90% on all of these. But if you want to go right where I'm at right now, it's 110%. I've been studying this, and sometimes I feel like when I study something, I don't see it or I see something that's not there. So you tell me, do you see it? Do you not? Uh, let's go ahead and go back to my original review video so I can give you a sample of how it waggled in that one. And uh, this is going to be the worst one in that particular group because I do know that when I was flying it in that review video, I think I did this maneuver like three or four times and this particular one had the largest or most predominant waggle. And then when we go back to my current flight after we look at the, the bad waggle and now the supposed fix, which I say supposed because it's always subjective and stuff on this stuff, um, we see it's, at, at the very least, it's much, much better than it was previously. And if you think that it's still there or you still see it or you're sensitive to it, you know, pump that thrust linearization up. And I want to thank Brandon Baked Beans. I want to thank him again. Actually, I think on YouTube, it's just Brandon Beans. And by the way, he also does PID tuning. Uh, I will link his Facebook page down below. Again, Brandon, thank you so much for including that tip. I had never used thrust linearization before. Have you used it before? Anyone else out there have used it and you knew about this? It's a new thing for me, so thank you. I got to learn something from your tip, and I got to explore it a little bit. Uh, I do like this Sinwoop. Personally, I think, I wish it was 4S. I got the 6S version. I wish it was 4S because I don't have a lot of 6S batteries, and 6S in my space, just, it's more weight. But I do like how this thing flies. And I think it's an improvement over the Synlog 25, which was my previous uh, Gep RC Synwoop that was my favorite. So if you're looking for something like this that 
uh, can fly pretty aggressively as well as fly flat and slow and get your external HD camera uh, shot. Uh, this is one I can recommend in this size. Of course, if you go to a larger size, it will carry a heavier camera more effectively for longer. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or otherwise, remember, if you need PID tuning help, I'll put his link down in the video description. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.